Hello friends, in this video we will explore 15 essential factors you need to know while constructing a 4 inch thick brick masonry wall. So let us start. Number 1. Placement of RCC band. The RCC band is usually placed after every 3 feet height. The reinforcement steel shall be 10 mm diameter main steel and 8 mm diameter stirrups placed at 200 mm center to center. The RCC band provides additional structural strength and stability to the masonry wall. It helps distribute the loads evenly and prevents the wall from sagging or collapsing. Number 2. Electrical and Plumbing Works Electrical and plumbing works should be started after 4 days of brick masonry construction. These 4 days allow sufficient time for the masonry to cure and settle. If it is done on very next day after masonry, the drilling, cutting and installation of electrical and plumbing components can weaken the structural integrity of the masonry, leading to potential cracks and instability. Number 3. L-beam reinforcement. It refers to a reinforcement bar bent in the shape of an L and embedded in the masonry to enhance its structural strength and stability. The L-band reinforcement is typically provided at regular intervals after every fourth layer of bricks vertically along the height of the wall, typically at corners or junctions, to improve the load-bearing capacity and resist cracking or deformation. For L-shaped bend, generally 10 mm diameter of main steel is used as reinforcement steel. Number 4. Toothing Toothing in brick masonry construction refers to the technique of interlocking bricks at the end of the wall to create a temporary bond between two separate construction stages. If it is not provided, then it can result in a weak and unstable joint between two walls compromising the overall structural integrity of the masonry. Number 5. Positioning of frogs. Frogs refer to the depression on the top face of the brick. When laying bricks, the frogs should typically face upwards. This positioning allows the mortar to fill the frog, improving the bond between bricks and enhancing the stability of the wall. Number 6. Lintel beam above door and window. A lintel beam of minimum 4 inch that is 100 mm thick is provided above doors and windows during brick masonry construction to distribute the load from the structure above and transfer it to surrounding walls or columns. If it is not provided, it can result in sagging, cracking or even collapse of the masonry wall above the opening. Number 7. Maximum height in single pore. A brick masonry of maximum 1.5 meter height can be constructed in a single pore. If constructed more than that, it increases the risk of inadequate curing and settlement of the mortar, leading to higher chances of developing cracks, uneven settling or structural issues in the masonry wall. Number 8. Placing bricks in staggered manner. This staggered arrangement creates interlocking connections between the bricks enhancing the overall structural stability. This bond pattern helps to resist lateral forces such as wind or seismic loads and prevents the formation of vertical joints that can weaken the wall. If it is not done, the bond between bricks may become weaker which may lead to cracks formation and even the wall can collapse. Number 9. Column and Beam Hacking Hacking or chipping away portions of the existing column and beam surfaces is usually done to create a suitable bonding surface for the masonry wall. If it is not done, it can result in a poor bonding and compromise the overall structural integrity of the building. Also after hacking the RCC surface, a cement slurry of 1 is to 1 ratio needs to be applied on RCC surface for proper bonding with masonry. Number 10. Mortar Thickness Thickness of mortar should be 10 mm for 4 inch wall, 12 mm for 9 inch wall and 15 mm for 13 inch wall. If you keep more thickness than specified above, it will lead to reduced strength and wastage of material. Number 11. Do not use brick bats. Brick bats are not ideal for masonry construction due to their inconsistent size 
weakened structural integrity and difficulties in bonding with mortar. Hence, always use full-size bricks in constructing a masonry. Number 12. Class of bricks. You should use first class bricks for construction of 4 inch thick brick wall. Don't go for second and third class bricks. First class bricks are of high quality and have uniform shape, size, texture and color. They have sharp edges and smooth surfaces with no cracks or other defects. Number 13. Mortar Ratio the mortar ratio of 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 should be used in constructing a brick masonry instead of 1 is to 5 or 1 is to 6. This results in increased amount of cement which enhances strength, durability and bonding properties of mortar. Cost difference between using a 1 is to 3 ratio and 1 is to 6 ratio may not be significant in the overall project budget. Moreover, compromising on strength and durability by using a weaker mortar mix may lead to potential issues and costly repairs in the future. Number 14. Bricks should be weighted before constructing a masonry. Weighting the bricks helps improve the bond between the bricks and the mortar. If you use dry bricks on dry mortar, they can draw water from the mortar too quickly, leading to excessive shrinkage and potential cracking. Number 15. Curing The recommended curing duration for brick masonry is typically around 7 to 14 days and frequency of at least twice a day. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.